now that all the decluttering is done, I will link to my entire declutter series down below. It is time to take a look at my makeup collection, so let's get started. All right, so here is kind of the whole setup. This is also where I sit and film, so I'll just kind of move my chair over to the side and film just right here is where I sit. My bed is not made, so I'm not gonna show you my bed. Um, but this is the whole setup. I will list everything down below furniture-wise, but my uh, desk is from Ikea. My chair I got from London Drugs, which is a Canadian drugstore, and it actually was an amazing deal. I ordered it online, it was only $100, and for ghost chairs, that's pretty cheap. Um, my big mirror here is from Winners, and that is kind of like my big major furniture. So here we have the first section of the lipsticks. As you saw in my lipstick declutter, I've got a good few. Um, these kind of lipstick holders, these little um, nine holder ones are from Dollarama. They only cost like $2, I think. So I've got four of these. This bruised bed over there. And then this one was the first one that I bought. And this one is from eBay and it came from China. It took a really long time to get here, but it is a really nice one. It's kind of stacked. And this is where I keep all of my MAC lipsticks. I'm gonna be doing a whole MAC lipstick collection video. These are my Wet n Wild lipsticks, which I love, but are so messy. Um, then I've just got some Maybelline and CoverGirl here. It's kind of a random mishmash here of lipsticks, as well as this one here. Another kind of random mishmash of lipsticks. So that's kind of the majority of my lipstick collection. Well, kind of. And then I'm gonna show you just up along here. It's what I keep on top of all of my drawers. So ideally, this is where I would keep my clean brushes, and then over here is where I would keep my brushes that I'm using, but that is not the case right now. Um, this brush holder is great. I got it from e.l.f. years ago. You can see it says eyes, lips, face on it, but it's got um, three little compartments in here, so for like face, smaller face, and then eyes, or however you like to organize your brushes. And it was only $15. This is some kind of organizer that I got from, I think, the dollar store as well, and it's just kind of um, an office organizer. A big, huge tip when you're trying to organize your makeup is head to the office organization section because you'll find all kinds of great stuff there. So this is where I keep kind of my lip glosses. I've got some MAC lip gloss here, NYX butter gloss, uh, LA Girl lip paints, my Too Faced melted lipsticks, any kind of like smaller or minis as well, like this mini of a Lancome lip product here. So any kind of minis I will keep in here. As you can see, nude glosses is mostly how I go. I don't uh, really do much in the way of colored glosses. Then I keep my e.l.f. Kabuki brush up here. This is awesome for setting powder, for blending things out. Um, and then I've got another kind of little random drawer here. Any of these little drawers I would I get at Dollarama, which is a Canadian drugstore. So in here I've got uh, just some foundation samples, two mattifying powders, one from Rimmel, one from uh, Neutrogena. This is a Rimmel lipstick lock. If you'd like to see a video on this, let me know. I got this in my swap with Leslie X, but I still haven't used it actually. So let me know if you'd like to see a first impressions video on that. Um, as I mentioned, oh, before I move on, this is just some banana powder that I keep in a lid from an old Rimmel Stay Matte powder. So if you use these kind of powders and you go through them all the time, just hold onto the cover because they act as great little um, palettes for foundation or powders or whatever you'd like. Um, but back to the kind of office organization, these are like little split, it's easier to see on this one. I guess they'd be for pens or that kind of thing, but I use them for my kind of crayon lip products as well as splitting up my lip liners and my eyeliners. And these were only $2 from Walmart. This is my Cody Airspun Powder that I got in a swap with Modern Martha that I uploaded not long ago. And here is a mirror that I just got from the dollar store that I like to use. Uh, sometimes I take it for travel and other times if I just need a mirror that's not attached to power, like this one, um, then I'll use this mirror. And this has some magnification on it as well, which is nice, it's only a couple bucks. Then over here, I decided to keep my liquid lipsticks in mason jars. Um, I don't know, they look pretty cute, I think, and I keep them organized by color. Uh, so these are kind of like pinky shades, and I've got reds and nudes right here, and purples and pinks right here. So I just keep these tucked back here. This is another office organization tool that I use. I guess this is for like files and pens and things, but I keep some blush palettes here, eyeshadow palettes, and then, as I mentioned, this is supposed to be where I keep my clean brushes. Not the case right now, uh, or sorry, my brushes that I'm using. They're all kind of just mishmashed right now, 
but that is kind of the idea. This mirror as well, if you're wondering, is from Sears, I believe. It's Revlon, and it's just kind of a touch lamp, which is nice. It's got magnification, and uh, I can flip around as well. Then along here is like the majority of my collection. These three drawer systems, the three of them are from Amazon. They were about $18 each. And then this one I got recently is from um, Beyond the Rack. What is interesting about this is it's actually an eyeglasses holder. And when I first got it, I was like, oh no, this is not what I wanted. But it worked out really well for storing single eyeshadow so that they don't get all messy because it's got um, little individual, individual kind of drawers inside of the drawers. So in this bottom one here, I keep my ColourPop eyeshadows. I've got some e.l.f. smudge pots, L'Oreal and uh, Maybelline back there. Then up here, this is where I keep the um, Metal Glams from Essence. I've got pigments from MAC, some random uh, singles and trios. And then back there, are some kind of crayon uh, cream eyeshadows. Up here is the brow drawer, so I keep anything um, kind of brow related up here. This is some pomades and powders, and then pencils are right here, and then any kind of gel or primer is back here. So I actually ended up really, really liking um, the system where it divides it, it makes it a lot more easy to organize. Then right here, this is the blush section of my collection. Um, no real rhyme or reason, basically just trying to make it all fit. So in here, I've got uh, mostly MAC blushes and ColourPop, and then this one is Mariposa. I did a whole video on Dollarama makeup, if you'd like to check that out. I will link to anything down below that I have reviews of. This is brand new, um, and I, oh, it's just so pretty. It is uh, Clinique Cola Pop. Then in this next drawer, we've got NYX blushes, Sleek blushes, a brand new All May one because it's being discontinued from Shoppers Drug Mart. If it isn't already sold out of where you are, definitely check it out because it was like $3. And then up here are some more square blushes. Uh, all of my Balm Instain blushes are in here. Oh no, hello. Mary Kay Sheer Dimension. Don't pull out these drawers too far, P.S. Then, in this one over here, this is where I keep all of my kind of cream products, because I found I wasn't really using my cream products, and I don't know if separating them out really makes sense, but it was just easier for organization purposes. So I've got this like e.l.f. moisturizing stick that I will potentially use for contouring. Um, I've got this LA Pro Conceal, this is for contouring, some powder highlights. These from e.l.f. are great, they're so cheap, they're like a dollar. Um, and yeah, so just some cream blushes, cream highlights. This drawer here is like so full. I'm a big time concealer junkie. This is a MAC concealer palette, uh, L'Oreal, NYX HD, my favorite. NYX Dark Circle Concealer, that is fabulous as well. NARS Creamy Concealer. Um, so that is all kinds of concealers in there. Then this drawer again, speaking of full, my highlight drawer, I'm going to need to find uh, some more space for my highlights. Um, but this is my highlight drawer. I've got a few really big ones like the Bobbi Brown one, the Shimmer Brick is big, um, the Wet n Wild Fergie is huge, this is new as well, this is from Black Radiance. So that is the highlight drawer and it's very, very full. Then in the last drawer, these are some overflow lipsticks in here, um, ones that wouldn't fit over in this section. Um, then this next drawer here are some little drugstore kind of quads uh, and trios. And then here is my mascara drawer. Moving on to these big drawers here. This is where I keep all of my face stuff and I've got a lot of face stuff. So starting right here, these three rows are foundation, and this one is foundation as well. Uh, if you saw my foundation declutter, believe it or not, guys, this is after it has been decluttered. So back here, I mean, you know what? There's really no rhyme or reason, um, but yeah. So there's a few foundations here. These are some that I haven't really uh, used much that I wanna make more use of, or ones that are not opened, like this one and the CoverGirl one are not opened. Estee Lauder Double Wear, that's new to me. Uh, this Garnier BB cream is great um, if you just want something really easy to throw on with your hands. I'm noticing that all my foundations are very dirty right now. Here is my bronzer drawer. I've got a whole video about all kinds of bronzers for uh, medium to deep skin tone. NYX HD is a favorite of mine. Another great option is the um, NYC Color Wheel. The Balm is great the Bahama Mama really cool tone bronzer and I just picked up NYX taupe as well I don't know if it's actually gonna work for my skin tone but we shall see 
Then in here are all of the powders. So these are kind of some face color powders. Ben Nye Banana Powder, um, Revlon Nearly Naked. This is the Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder. And then the two uh, e.l.f. powders. One's the HD and one's one with sunscreen. Here are some more foundations. These are the ones that I'm like trying to use. Oh my god, everything is so messy. I'm so sorry. Um, these are the ones that I'm trying to use uh, at the moment. So these are kind of to the front. And then back here is primers, whether it's face primers, eye primers, they all go here. And then I've got some eyeliners right here and then some beauty blenders. I mean, these things are dirty because like I'm a human being and I don't have time to be cleaning off foundation bottles just to do a makeup collection. I already had to do enough cleaning to try and make my desk look like it looks like this all the time, which it definitely doesn't. Then over here, in this drawer, this one is definitely the least pretty drawer, um, but this is where I keep some kind of random things. So clips for when I'm doing my hair, bobby pins and um, hair elastics. This is like headbands and donuts and stuff for my hair. This is all kinds of different tools. So my mascara guard, eyelash curler, little scissors, tweezers, beauty spoon. And then here is kind of makeup that I haven't used yet. So that's like completely new. So a whole bunch of mascaras in here that I've yet to use. You've got some samples along the bottom here. And then a ton of foundations and powders and stuff that I haven't used yet. Or things that I have double of that I really love, like NYX HD, um, my NYX matte bronzer, that's a favorite of mine. I just picked up the BH Studio Pro Powder, which is supposed to be just like the MAC Studio Fix Powder, which I absolutely am obsessed with. So can't wait to try that. So this is kind of the secondary drawer, not very pretty. So then up along here, I've got kind of this little shelf in my room, which is great for storage. So I keep some more stuff up here, and then I've got these other two little shelves that I'll put some stuff on. So starting over here, is this where I keep some palettes? Uh, I really like the way that these kind of palettes look, so I like to display them. Um, Lime Crime Venus, I know everybody hates Lime Crime, but it is a really pretty palette, so I do use it. Um, and then we've got some other palettes back here. The Tardis, I just did a review on this if you'd like to check it out. Kat Von D Movita Loca, I've got a review on that, and I I love her and she's so pretty. This is actually the box that my Give Me More Lip came in and I love it. It's such a pretty box. So I decided to use it for uh, kind of keeping things on my shelf. I just had them laid there, but I thought they looked better in the box. My MAC uh, Pro Conceal is in there. I like to stand those up straight. I like to keep a little uh, travel size bottle of makeup remover. So I take this for travel, but then I also like keeping it on my uh, near my makeup desk so that if I'm doing a look or something like that and it gets messed up, which it generally does, then I have it right there for me. Uh, the Chamomile Cleansing Butter is amazing for makeup removal. This is brand new to me, the Face Atelier Ultra Matte, L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray, Hard Candy Setting Spray, Scandinavia Setting Spray, Scandinavia uh, Primer Spray, Mary Kay Brush Cleaner. This is a little uh, Q-tip dispenser, which I got at the dollar store. This I think is like a vase, but I decided to keep um, my cotton pads in there. These are two travel Z palettes. And then this is like a hair donut, but have you ever seen those things that like people use to change, like to get the dirt off of their makeup brushes? Cause that's what I plan to make out of one of those. If you're curious as to which palettes I have, I am gonna be doing a whole palette collection with like full swatches, um, but I've got the Lorac Pro, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is a pure um, matte palette. It's my Z palette in here, which I recently decluttered. Uh, Lorac Pro Gold, a favorite of mine, Carly Bybel, Urban Decay Smoked, but uh, keep your eyes out for a full palette video coming soon. Thank you so much for watching my makeup collection. If there's anything you'd like to see for the reviews or swatches on, be sure to let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.